Hello and welcome to Crack Clan close-up number five. This is Chaplin. Joining me is my man Ips from the Crack Clan Prem team. Hello guys. And we're going to be showing you some tips and tweaks that you can use to improve your game. The first of the tweaks we'll be covering today is called Art underscore Shadow to Render Texture. It's a really important part of the game for me and Ips and it's something that's been in the game for a long time now and by default it's set to zero. We're going to show you what it does. Can you go behind the wall please? Okay, so at the moment you can see Ips' shadow through the wall. If he was hiding there, I would see him and I'd know exactly where to look as soon as I go around that corner. Now, that's because I've modified my game. If I was to go R shadow to render texture and set it to zero, which is the default setting, he disappears. I have absolutely no idea where he is. Can you walk out for us please, just to show you there? Yeah, he's just there. So, it's a massive bonus to have this in your game. And I recommend you all put it on as soon as possible. So, R underscore shadow to render texture, one, and you can see people around corners. This is my buddy Ips over here, he's standing on the health pack. That's a place where you go, you know, kind of obvious. Now, I'm going to walk around the side, and because of our shadow underscore render textures on, he's there. Um, I'm going to try turning that off now as per default, and bam. That's a piece of information I wouldn't have had, uh, so it's, a, it's more than useful. Now, ordinarily, I'd be walking up to the left hand side here, and I would be going into this garage. But now let's see what happens if I turn on my right shadow to render textures. The game will hang for a bit, and then... Oh, what's that? Is that... Is that an enemy soldier? Rinse, wash, and repeat. It's really that easy, you know. I think everyone gets the hang of that now, so we're going to move on to the next tweak. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be covering is default hit indicator. If it shoots from the side now, go for it. You can see these big red things happening right on my screen. We're going to try the small one now. Alright, so now we've actually changed to the small um, hood indicator. And if she's going to hit me now, go for it. He's hit me head on, but you see they're absolutely tiny. And it gives me a really accurate representation of the damage. Um, and also, it obscures so much less of the screen and I can see what's going on. It's, it's a really big advantage and I'll recommend you use it. If you would like to change your HUD damage indicator to the same as the small one, just check the description right below and there's a paste bin detailing exactly how you can do that. The next thing we'll be teaching you how to do is something that's quite useful, made by Ipez himself. It is a little script which changes the way uh, shell cases are rendered within the game and the dust that falls off walls when you shoot them. So let's see, this is the vanilla version. We're going to walk up to the wall and I'm going to shoot it with my shotgun. Almost like dandruff is falling off the wall. It's actually bits and pieces of realism which CF2 seems to want to hold on to. We're actually going to turn this off now because not only is this very FPS heavy, it's also very disorienting and you know exactly where your shots are going to go. Okay, so I have just gone through the instructions in the description to change the crud that falls off walls, as Ips put it, in the description. So we're going to take out my shotgun now, we're going to shoot nothing. Clean as a baby's backside. And you'll have better FPS and better life. Okay, the next tweak we have for you is something called MP underscore show respawn times. Uh, Ips has just capped mid and I'm going to kill him. Where is he? Come here. Alright, he's dead. And now I'm going to press my MP underscore show respawn times button. And you can see it in the bottom left hand side of the screen. It shows you every spawn wave. So this is when he would have spawned if I'd killed him earlier. Now the next one. And now his actual spawn will be coming in. Two, one, zero. Welcome. And this is really useful because it lets you see exactly who's up. Um, and we're actually going to show you how to bind it to your scoreboard. I didn't show you it bound to the scoreboard for obvious reasons, because there's just two of us. But that's ordinarily where I would have this script. Um, because it lets you show where who's spawning and when they're spawning. So it's really, really useful. Um, and all that info is in the description. Okay, the last tweak we had for you today is something called closed captions. These are used quite commonly in the game for disability and handicap needs. 
um, are handy capable. You know, the kind of disabled people that would be using these things are people like Epsilon and Broda, um, the people who need them, really, but we're going to be using them for our own needs today. These closed captions allow us to do a lot of different things, and everything's dis explained in the description, you just need to check that. I'm going to show you now. I can see, I can't actually see the sniper in main. I know he's there because Ips told me before we started, so I'm going to shoot a rocket. And already, I've heard sniper hurt. I know exactly what I've hit. Now, ordinarily, if I had a really sharp ear, I'd be able to tell the sniper's cry, but when things are happening, and there's lots of stuff going on around you, you don't always know. Um, and so, it allows you to do things like that. It also allows you to gauge how hurt they are. It allows you to gauge things like medics calling Uber, and heavy spawning, engineers spawning. So there's a lot of useful things there. And you might notice as well that um, it's very, very central in my screen. That's something we can easily tweak out, and it's very, very easy to fix. So thank you very much for being along with us. This has been Crackland Basic number five. I've been Chaplin, and Ips has definitely been Ips. Good night, Good and night. thank you.